from Electronic Specifier at Engineering Design Show. I'm on the stand of She Can Engineer, which is a charity dedicated to increasing female representation in engineering. I've been joined by Laura Green from the charity. Laura, perhaps you could just talk to us a bit about the background, how the charity was founded, and then how what its objectives are. Thanks. Hi, Nick. Um, so She Can Engineer actually stemmed from um, wanting to celebrate International Women in Engineering Day. So back in 2015, um, we wanted to come together um, as um, representatives of um, professional engineering institutions and wanted to do something collaboratively. And so um, our first event was in 2016, um, where we all got together and we had this really great celebration and we got all these organizations involved. As we grew um, as a, a collaboration of um, like passionate people, we realized that uh, we wanted to do a lot more and we couldn't do it just you know, um, as, as an ad hoc um, group of people who wanted to meet together occasionally. So we actually decided that we were going to register as a charity and in uh, 2022 uh, we officially registered as a charity. And what we do is um, actually look at um, addressing diversity, equity and inclusion within engineering from the like, old parts of the pipeline. So looking at um, the recruitment aspect of it mm -hmm. from schools, looking at the outreach and then right into the workforce and how organisations retain that talent um, within the workforce. Okay, and I mean you've done a lot of work on the STEM outreach. What, what are the initiatives there and what, what are the achievements there? So we um, we put together um, every, every year we do at least one um, big event um, where we put on together a, a whole day of activities. Um, we invite local schools in the area and we bring them into a central location. Um, sometimes, most of the time it's in London, just because our volunteer base, there's a lot of us in London. Um, and um, we put on um, workshops for them to experience what it's like to be an engineer and understand that there's lots of different disciplines within engineering and being able to work together with these different disciplines and different roles to make something happen. So we'll have something like um, design a stadium, for example, and you'll have a project manager, you may have a structures um, engineer, you might have an environmental engineer. Um, do we need electrical engineers in there? So uh, they get to choose their roles and they play that role. Then we'll also put on um, activities like speed networking so they get to speak to different types of engineers because what we want to show these students who we aim around like years eight to nine um, when they're in school uh, that engineering there's so much out there um, and we want to show them the breadth of what engineering does and what breadth the you know, engineers touch so the different industries the different disciplines that we have within engineering because like it, it's my firm belief anyway that there is something in engineering for everyone should they choose to want it. I mean, that, in a way, that goes from plumbing to physics, if you like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And the creative side is one. I think we, we sometimes forget that we need the creativity. So along with your physics and your maths, it's um, so for my job um, as a human factors engineer, being able to think outside the box to come up with creative and innovative solutions. I think that um, looking at design and art and, and that creative space is also really important. I, I was going to say, you know, in, in terms of design engineering, you know, that's a tremendously creative exactly. process, yes, you know, yeah. something that is really attractive to do and great pride when it when, when it comes to fruition. Yes, yeah, exactly. Okay. And uh, looking at kind of um, role models, well, 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 I believe you've got something coming up there in London and Manchester, is that correct? Uh, so in, in London, um, in terms of like role models, if we're looking, if um, I think we've been asked quite a lot um, today and yesterday around um, where do we start looking for role models within engineering? And to be fair, they're, they're, they are everywhere. When I was at school, I didn't know where to look. And actually, um, 
people have caught on with this and if you go to the British Science Museum in London they will have they have a permanent exhibition around engineers and technicians and so they feature a whole load of uh, really great engineers all of dis different disciplines and um, so this today is the 9th of October and on the 17th of October the um, Museum of I don't know they've, called, they've, they've changed their names now they are the uh, Science and Industry Museum in Manchester uh -huh. they are also opening a permanent exhibition around engineers and engineering um, and um, there's a um, there's a couple of features of uh, really inspirational engineers from the past and the present and they're all intertwined with um, the one of the UK's largest collections of historical engines so it's really cool to see the product you know a real feats of engineering through the ages with um, alongside the people who work on them and who created them and, and and things like that. Okay. Yes. And uh, over the, since you registered a charity 2022, have you begun to see with some of your initiatives an increase in, in female engineers? I think on the whole, I mean, there's always more work to do, yeah. but I do, I do believe that we have had an impact. And actually, when we've started to measure the impact um, that we have had, we've targeted um, students at you know the, these um, these outreach events, and there's hundreds of them every year that uh, we do engage with. Um, and show them all the different types of disciplines and when we look at uh, we, we put out a survey and at the beginning of the day they'll have a survey and say have you heard of engineering um, have you considered a career in engineering and then after the the event we'll ask them again like which now that you know what engineering is would you would you consider a career in engineering and actually um, we see um, a large proportion, I, I can't tell you the figures off the top of my head, but a large proportion of those students actually say yes. And it's also okay if they say no, because um, at least then they know that maybe engineering isn't something that they want to pursue. Um, we can't all be engineers. The world can't just be all, I mean, to be fair, I would love it if we were all engineers, but we do need, um, like I said, we need um, the diversity of thought to be able to uh, come up with innovative solutions. Okay, and I guess going forward, more initiatives, more work on getting this done, yeah? Yes, um, we we have a whole host of activities in the pipeline that we really want to, to do, um, but we're all um, volunteers, we all have full-time jobs, so we do this on the side, um, and so resourcing can be quite difficult. Um, we have a um, committee and volunteer pool around 30, so we do lots of activities like coming to shows like this, conferences, do a lot of public speaking, a lot of outreach. Um, we have a podcast um, and, and we also um, help organisations with their ed &I initiatives. So there's a whole host of activities that we do and we want to keep growing um, but we need the support to be able to do that. Okay and we can find all this information on your website. You? Yes, yep. W uh, is it on there? It's at shecanengineer.com um, and you'll also find us on LinkedIn uh, for all our updates. Okay. Laura Green, <laughs> thank you very much indeed. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks, nice to meet you.